Okay, this is not a joke. We were in bed, heard a big noise. Here's what's happening. Oh my God. There's a hole in the freaking ceiling. Oh my God. So something hit the house. Oh, I see, I see a tree right here. Something hit the house big time this time. Oh man. It's gonna leak big time. Yeah. This has to be fixed right away. Here's the nor'easter causing damage. When we heard that noise, we thought this was from the uh, proving grounds because there's a military proving grounds not so far from here, and sometimes we hear them testing something. But this time that was not it. Getting outside to see what the damage is. Blani's already on the phone with the maintenance support. I don't really see much on the roof, so what must have happened is this branch broke off, hit the roof, punched a hole in it and then bounced off and landed here, I guess. If you look up there, you can see clearly where it broke off. So, uh, it must have been just too heavy from all the ice that accumulated on it. And it went straight down onto the roof. He's literally barking at the hole. <laughs> Look at all these fallen yeah. trees. Whoa. I think I'm gonna turn these wipers off. There's fallen trees here. <gasps> Branches. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. Slow down. There's definitely a lot of uh, damage in the area from fallen branches and broken trees. Take a look at what's happening ahead of us right now. They're waving you on, so that guy's standing there. Oh my gosh. Wow. Just a little bit of snow and the world turns into a beautiful winter masterpiece. Whoa, there's a lot of fallen trees in the area. Actually, it looks like a really nice day right now. It's very blue sky and beautiful sunlight, which is making all this snowy world looks really pretty. Uh, but there's definitely been some uh, extensive damage in the area. I wonder how much longer our house will stay without power. But uh, that hardly matters because we're probably going tonight.
maintenance crew is here and they're working on removing the tree. We just went live on Facebook a moment ago, timed it perfectly because we finished the transmission when, like a minute before they showed up. So uh, the roof situation is being taken care of. I don't think they can fix the hole in the ceiling today. You know, I could theoretically do this myself. It's yeah, just but a, that's uh, not our job. Yeah. They can do it, and then that's a lot of work, because they also have to paint the ceiling right. before they get it done. So anyway, um, situation under control. I think we can slowly start getting out of here and getting something real to eat, and I definitely need coffee. It's almost 7 p.m. We're now getting some sweet sunset light into the yard. It's still very cold. It's around 30 degrees and windy now. And no matter how beautiful this sunset is tonight, it's not going to keep us here. We're leaving tonight. Decision has been made. Sitting, There's still no electricity in the house. So sitting in a cold house without the ability to even boil water or make any hot meal really sucks. So we'd rather be on the road. The car is nice and warm inside. So we'd rather be on the road than uh, sit in the house. We're off to Colorado. There's no light. Exactly. What the fuck is going on, David? What is going on is we're in the uh, polar vortex here. <laughs> polar. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna leave and go somewhere else where people still don't live like animals and have electricity <laughs> and warmth and heat. <laughs>